This is Golgotha this week, and I'm going to fill in for Topher. And today, I'm going to let you in on something that if you didn't know, you're either 10 years old or you're flat out stupid. And that is pro wrestling is staged, it's fake, it's not real. Today, on the hardcore truth. So like I said, pro wrestling is staged. You know, you got the wrestlers go out there each and every week to put on a match, to put on a show that has been predetermined who's going to win. We know in advance, even before music hits, who's going to win, okay? Now, how much of that is predetermined, you know, depends on the match. We might have the whole thing planned out, move for move and counter move, everything. From top to bottom, you know, all the spots might be planned out. There are some matches that are, we just have to go by the fly. You know, it might be, hey, we need you to, uh, to you two to go out there have a match. You know, make it last ten minutes, make it look good, and you know, so and so wins, or you know, we want it to be a squash match, and so and so wins. You know, or you know, we're gonna wait, have, do this match, and have it done. And there's going to be an unscheduled run out, you know. But, so, you know, the other guy, you lose. But it's planned. It's organized, you know. There's thought that goes into it beforehand. So what? So what does this have to do with your religion or anything of that sort? You see, there's a debate going on among theologians. And it's been going on for a while about predestination or free will. And I decided to use this analogy of, you know, the pro wrestling match to chime in. You see, I think God definitely has a plan. I mean, take a look at the coming of Christ, okay? Just in his birth, you know how many prophecies had to be fulfilled? You know how much stuff had to fall in just so for it to happen? You can't tell me there was no forethought into that or that it was a plan, okay? that God knew in advance what was going to happen and how it was going to go down. And he orchestrated those events. However, does that mean there's a reason why I have this vest on? Does that mean I have absolutely no choice just because God has a plan? I think like in those matches where we know the outcome, but we don't quite know how we're going to get there. I think that is where our free will comes in. You know, we know the outcome in the long run. We know Christ is going to win. We know God has a plan. And we hope and we pray and we know we're going to be a part of it. It's just we just don't necessarily know how. You know, we don't necessarily know how that looks. And we still have to make a choice. You know, whether we're going to obey his plan or not. Now, every once in a while I get, you know, the unexpected happens, you know. I accidentally backdrop somebody and they land on their head and they're out on injury and that was an unforeseen circumstance. But you see with God, there is no unforeseen circumstances. He knows, you know, everything. He knew, knows all the details of what's going to go down. You know, and yeah, because he has a concussion and can't continue the match, I may have to win instead of him. And I'd be, to and I'm totally okay with that. But, and like I said, with God, there's no unforeseen circumstances because God is all knowing, he, you know. So how does free will work into that with a God with a plan who's all knowing? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I got something that's maybe a little less va valuable than this belt here. You see, I got a hundred dollar bill right here in my hand. And if I were to say, hey, who wants a hundred dollar bill? I bet each and every one of you would say yes. You know, that you would take this hundred dollar bill from me. Alright? So just because I know what choice you're gonna make, before I even ask a question, does that deny you a free will? No. You still have the free will to make the choice, even though if I am even though I'm pretty sure each and every one of you would say yes to free money. Unless you're one of those stupid people think wrestling's still real and ends up fake. You see, God knows the choices we're going to make because he's all-knowing. 
But we don't always get, we don't have that privilege because we're not all knowing. We don't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's even gonna happen in the next five minutes, you know? So I think God is all knowing and all, you know, all knowing. He knows the choices we're gonna make. But I honestly believe that within his plan, he plans for us to make choices. He plans for us to make decisions, either to grow closer to him or grow away from him. And I think he's hoping and praying each one of each and every one of us makes that choice to grow and to continue to grow and continue to get to know him. But I think he knows that there are some of us who won't. You know? At least not right now. And it's for you people that I'm praying for tonight. This is Golgotha saying goodbye, God bless, and that's the hardcore truth.